Hello, Ryan here with another tip on the 2020 Subaru Outback. Our test vehicle today is the Limited XT trim. Um, I'm the owner of this vehicle and I don't work for Subaru. These are just tips, uh, owner to owner tips to help you get the most out of your Outback and help the, the Outback community grow. So what we wanna talk about today is how to get into your vehicle if you've lost your key fob. So here's the key fob for the vehicle. What happens if you've lost your key fob and you can't get into your vehicle, you need to get in there? Um, well, there are a couple of ways you can get into, into your vehicle without the key fob. Um, one way is to use the, the My Subaru app, app on your phone, which uses the Starlink system. If you've signed up for Starlink Security, um, uh, Safety and Security Plus service, you can use the My Subaru app to unlock your car. Anywhere within cellular range, that can happen. But what happens if you're outside of cellular range or you've lost your phone as well, which would be a pretty bad day if you've lost your phone and key fob, which could totally happen, right? Or maybe your phone's locked in the car and you need to get back to it. Well, this is how you get into the vehicle or, or how you can program, uh, program a way to get into the vehicle if you, if you don't have your key fob. Okay, so it works with a little button underneath the rear hatch on the Outback. There's a small button here on the right and my cameraman's gonna point down here. I don't know if you can see that button right there. This is the button we're gonna use along with the key fob. Okay, so I just wanna show where that is so you know where it is. Now there's another, there's another button right here in the middle that actually opens up the, the hatch. We're not gonna use that button to set up this pin code feature. We're gonna use the little button over here on the right. So the instructions uh, don't, I mean, they, they spell it out uh, kind of clear, but it can be confusing to people that there are actually two buttons. This button is also the lock button. You can press this button to lock the car, um, lock everything up, but we're gonna use it to program the, uh, the pin feature of the Subaru Outback. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure all of the, the, all of the doors are shut on the vehicle. Um, all four doors, including the rear hatch, need to be shut. One thing I recommend is that you disable the uh, proximity sensor here on the back that opens the door when you put your hand by it. Right now, you can see that that's disabled for me. And the reason why is because we're gonna be working back here and we don't wanna ac ac accidentally trigger the, uh, trigger the hatch. And there's a button on the front uh, to the left of the steering wheel. You press that in and that'll disable this feature. So you wanna do that first just to make sure that we don't have any problems with, with the rear hatch accidentally um, opening. So what we're going to do is we're going to press, after we've got the, the car ready to go here, we're going to press and hold the lock button. Um, as I do that, I'm also going to press and hold the lock button on the rear hatch, that little button that we showed you earlier. So when I do that, you're going to need to listen for an intermittent chirp sound. So we're going to go ahead and start. Here we go. Holding it down. All right, now you're hearing that intermittent chirp. I have 30 seconds to press the unlock button. I'm gonna press the unlock. It's now ready for programming. I'm now going to insert a code. I'm going to insert three. You'll hear a beep, I'm ready for the next number, a two, a three, a two, and a three. All right, we heard a series of chirps. Now it's saying you need to enter it again. So I need to enter it one more time, exactly right. Three, two, three, two, three. All right, so now the car just unlocked and now we have the pin set. Now, obviously I'm choosing a very insecure code as an example. You should choose something that is uh, uh, personal to you, something that you remember, maybe something that you have um, on your person. You don't wanna use any numbers like on your license plate or anything like that that somebody could easily guess. We're gonna go ahead and lock up the car. Um, and I'm actually gonna disable the, the key fob so we, we know that we're gonna pretend like this key fob has been lost. So I'm going to hold down the lock button and press the unlock button twice. So the key fob is now in sleep mode. And if I try to unlock the, the rear gate, oh no, I'm locked out of my car, what do I do? Well, just walk up to the, to the Outback. You don't need to do anything special. You're gonna find that unlock button and you're gonna enter your code. Between each number, you're gonna hear a beep and then you're gonna enter the next number. So we're gonna enter three, two, three, two, three. All right, so now the Subaru Outback is unlocked and it's ready to go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and wake up my key fob a little uh, again now because I'm gonna need to move it here or use it. All right, so now we've locked up the Outback again. Well, now what I'm gonna do, uh, because I put a really insecure passcode in here, I wanna show you how to reset the passcode, how to completely erase this feature and, and make the pin system completely non-functional. So what you're gonna do is that same programming step, but the code that you need to enter is a special code. You need to enter two, 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 two. So is that five twos, two, 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 five twos, and that will completely reset the system. Um, and erase any pin codes that you currently have programmed in the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. So real quick, we're gonna hold down the lock button. We're gonna come under here and hold down the lock button on the back. We're hearing that intermittent chirp. I'm gonna press the unlock button. It's ready to enter the code. Two, 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 Two. All right, and immediately unlocked. You can see that it didn't ask for that pin code a second time. That's because it, it's a reset code, a special reset code. Now there are some codes that you are not allowed to set. So check your owner's manual if you're not sure. Uh, example codes are one 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 two 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 two, obviously three 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 one two three four five, and other uh, common um, codes like that. So that's how you use and set the uh, the pin code. I do want to take one note and maybe mention why you would want to set up a pin code in the first place. Well, let's say that you're going to go swimming. This key fob is expensive. Replacing this thing uh, takes a lot of money. It can be a real hassle. And this emergency key on the back um, that you can remove, well, you know, it's not exactly the easiest thing to carry around. And uh, this can also be expensive to replace. So uh, what do you do in the in this, in this that sense when you know, you, you don't want to lose your key fob. You're going to go swimming in the ocean or kayaking or something, and you don't want to get this wet. This, this uh, key fob is not waterproof. What you can do is you can put the key fob into sleep mode, and you can watch our key fob video on, to learn how to do that. And you're going to store it in your vehicle and just lock everything up. Just lock everything up tight. Make sure that none of the doors open or anything. And then when you come back, you can use the, the pin code here on the back to, to get access to your Outback. And then grab your key fob. Make sure you put down a towel in the seat because you've just gotten uh, all wet. Uh, get in and drive away. So that's a little uh, tip on how to use the uh, pin code access feature on the 2020 Subaru Outback. Thank you.